All right, let's 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 have a little chat because I have been making videos on this channel for almost seven years now, which is really cool, but it also means that it's been long enough now that I look back on my old stuff and cringe. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you my tips and hacks for finding cute curvy body outfits for the spring and also just some do's and don'ts with some popular styles. Know your shape and know what things flatter it before you go into the store. I mean, my hair, my makeup, my voice has dropped like four octaves. I mean, I love it, but I don't know why. <laughs> but also my mindset has changed. I started this channel at 19, completely wrapped up in diet culture and shame about my body. Body. And so I've really kind of been publicly going on this journey with you guys of self-love and confidence. I'm 26 now and the way that I look at myself, talk about myself, value myself has completely changed. But at the beginning of that self-love journey back in 2016, one of my first viral videos was the do's and don'ts of dressing a curvy body. It was basically, you know, like little tips and tricks of how I use clothes to accentuate the parts of my body body that I like and hide the parts that I didn't so that I could feel more confident. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, wanting to dress your body in a way that makes you feel most confident. I still do that. But I think I really became so wrapped up in this idea of only wearing things that were flattering. <laughs> oh my gosh, that word. And those of you who've been on my channel since the beginning know I used to say flattering like 20 times in every video. Flatter flattering, <laughs> flattering, flatter, flattering, 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 look, flattering. Flattering. Flattered my body. Flattering. Flatter it. Flatter your, flatter your figure this winter. Back then that was huge for me. Like being able to dress my body in a way that didn't send me into a shame spiral was a huge breakthrough. But now looking back, I, I cringe <laughs> because now I've gotten to the point where I don't only have to wear things that are flattering to like my body. Whether I'm wearing a baggy t-shirt or a bodycon dress, like my body is still the same body. So why not just wear whatever I like, whether it's flattering or not. There are no don'ts. Like in, in retrospect, I, I feel sad for that version of me who had this whole list of things that I wasn't allowed to wear because of my body. But I hadn't figured that out yet back then. Loving my body wasn't like a light switch. You know, it wasn't like all these years of hating my body went away with one epiphany. It's been a lot of little breakthroughs and baby steps and it's a journey that I am very much still on right now. And my channel, my videos are kind of like a window into what that journey has been like for me. So I think looking back, it, it should make me cringe because that means that I've grown. I still have so much to figure out, so much to unlearn. And I've loved sharing that process with you guys as I kind of try to just figure it out and as I grow. So for a long time, I left left those old videos up because I thought it was cool to see the growth. You could see where I started, but I realized that those videos were still getting new comments and new views from people who don't have that context of the growth. So I took them down, but I, I do still think there's a, a story to be told about that and about that growth, which brings me to this video. We, me, you, we are gonna go back through those old do's and don'ts videos. I made four of them in the span of uh, 2016 to 2017 and take a look at the things that I said I would never wear the don'ts and try to style them into outfits that I like because I, I can wear those things regardless of my size, shape, weight, body type. I, I can wear whatever I want and I will. <laughs> so let's do it. Okay, I just went into my closet and pulled a whole bunch of stuff that me from 2016, 2017 would have just absolutely hated. <laughs> We've got some puffer jackets. I hated puffers, anything that made me look bulky. Bike shorts I did not like, tight short crop tops, spaghetti straps. We got some bodycon dress options that hug the stomach in all of its glory. Some big baggy shapeless overalls because I was all about the waist definition. And uh, also just some cute little pieces and accessories to try and style all of this into three outfits. Outfits. Okay, I'm putting together the first outfit and originally I wanted to do this with like a fitted tank top underneath But I actually really like the way it looks with just my bra This is the collab bra that I did with Harper Wilde last year and then I have a nice big comfy puffer over the top and 
some bike shorts. <laughs> and the thing is now, I love puffers. I think they're comfy, I think they're cute. And honestly, I think back then, I liked the way puffers looked too because I tried to find one that was like just a lot less bulky and I showed it in one of those do's and don'ts videos. Go for a lighter puffer jacket that has more structure to it. But I was so consumed with this fear of a puffer jacket making me look bigger than I was that I put them in the don't category. And the thing is like, who cares if my body looks bigger or looks smaller than it is? Like I said at the beginning, that doesn't actually change my body. It just changes the perception of it. And so why why should that even matter? And when I wore crop tops, I always went for loose fitting ones because I didn't want them to accentuate my stomach. And kind of same with shorts. The crop top is just slightly too short, an extra inch or two, and I think this could be a really cute look. Try something like this. My crop top is a little bit longer and looser. This way it only exposes the smallest part of my waist right above the high-waisted shorts. And doesn't squeeze my belly. And I did stay away from things that hugged my stomach, which they, these definitely do. But that's not a bad thing. It just is. <laughs> and I think this outfit looks so cute. I'm gonna add like some sneakers, some accessories. And it's just a perfect, comfy, cute, little, you know, easy like errands look that I never would have allowed myself to wear back then. But I was seriously missing out because this looks great. <laughs> now let's put this outfit to work and go take some Instagram pictures. <laughs> So the bra that I'm wearing is Harper Wild, as I mentioned, and then my puffer and my bike shorts are Fabletics, and the shoes are Nike. In one of my do's and don'ts videos, I described bulky clothes as giving me a blob effect. Sometimes though, those big baggy sweaters can give what I call the blob effect. And sure, maybe this puffer jacket makes me look a little blobby, but I, I think I'm a cute blob. I also really wanted to take some photos sitting down because I used to be really, really uncomfortable with the way my stomach looked when I was sitting. But sitting, standing, whatever, my stomach is the same stomach. And the fact that the Starbucks cup matches the outfit perfectly, this fit is so me. I can't believe that there was a time that I wouldn't wear this. Okay, so for my next look, I think I wanna do a bodycon dress. And I pulled these three options. I used to wear bodycon dresses back then, but with like a very specific list of stipulations to try and make it, you guessed it, flattering. <laughs> this really thin, lightweight material, which keeps it from clinging to my tummy too much. I'm also wearing a pair of Spanx from Target underneath, which keeps everything smoothed out and just makes it super flattering. I really like the way this dress conforms to my body and accentuates my curves, but the fabric is still really light and breathable. I also love this floral pattern because it makes it very fun and girly and spring, but it's also black, which just makes it even more flattering. I didn't want anything too colorful. I wanted it to be black or like a dark color. I always I always wore Sphinx with them. I wanted to like smooth out my stomach as much as possible. Sometimes I would like tie a flannel around my waist to try and cover up my stomach a little bit more. And honestly, that like just general uncomfortableness <laughs> with my stomach showing, being front and center, not being smoothed out or covered up is something that still stays with me, something I'm still working through. And it can be really freaking hard sometimes to just push past that and silence that voice in the back of your head. But today I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna wear the fun, bright colored bodycon dress without the big long list of do's and don'ts. Okay, so here is our first option. This is the dress that I got in my last video from Cider. And actually this dress is kind of a big part of what inspired the idea behind this video. So I feel like that on its own kind of makes me wanna wear this dress. Plus I, I really like it. I like the color, I like the collar. I think the ribbed material is really cute too. And look at the little slit. Oh my God, I love this dress. Why don't I wear this dress more? It's so cute. It makes me feel like Elle Woods. The only thing about this dress is I don't know if it's like fitted bodycon enough. 
for what I'm going for, but I, I just love this dress in general. It's so freaking cute. And then we have this dress from Universal Standard. And this dress, actually, it kind of has like a, a special little place in my heart because I bought it for a video two years ago where I tried to conquer my fashion fears. And I feel like it was one of the first bodycon dresses that I ever wore where I really just like embraced my stomach. And that on its own kind of makes me want to pick this one, but it is a darker color. And I, I think going with one of the more colorful options pushes back against 2016, 2017 me a little bit more. So let's go with the first dress, the cider one. Now I absolutely love the way this outfit came together, but there is still a part of me that is uncomfortable with the way that my stomach looks at certain angles. But I think that's okay. Like it's it's unrealistic to expect myself to feel 100% confident 100% of the time. And by wearing this dress, I feel like I am able to push past that a little bit more and realize that even though that voice in the back of my head is still there, it's not right. I can wear this dress and I don't need to try and make my stomach look look smaller or flatter to be worthy of wearing this dress. No style is off limits because of my size. So kind of on the other side of the coin of not wanting to wear things that were too fitted, that hugged my stomach. In a lot of those earlier videos, I also reiterated my disdain for anything shapeless, loose, baggy. I always wanted waist definition. If it wasn't like a fit and flare dress, I 100% was gonna add a belt. Shapeless dresses are comfy and fun. They're easy to throw on for a summer day, but with big boobs, they tend to just hang off of you like a tent. All you need to do is add a belt. This belt easily transforms this outfit from a don't into a do in a matter of seconds. This dress doesn't have any structure in the waist. Go for a fit and flare dress. This dress style is made for curvy girls. It's structured to hug the upper half of your body and then flare out at the smallest part of your waist. And I still love a belted look. I think it's cute. It adds a lot to an outfit, but I think now I realize that's not a necessity and it's totally fine for me to wear things where you can't see my shape at all. It's fine to just be comfy and wear things that are loose and airy and oversized. But I think back then I really had this deep rooted fat phobia where I thought that things that were oversized were gonna make me look bigger than I was. And so I needed some sort of definition, something highlighting the smallest part of my waist so that that was the focal point of the look. That's what your eye was drawn to. So I thought it would be fun to wear something that was, you know, just comfy and loose and easy, but doesn't have any shape to it. And originally I was gonna do like a shift dress but then I remembered another style that I used to really, really hate back then was overalls. I love overalls now. I think they're cute. They're like the easiest outfit too because you just put a t-shirt under it. Also, they're just very practical with like my current stage of my life being a mom. I find myself wearing soft, unstructured overalls like these a lot because it's just easy and comfortable and I can roll around on the floor with grace, walk, run, jump, do anything. And it's just, it's very low maintenance. So I'm gonna try to put together an outfit Outfit with some loose, airy, comfy, shapeless overalls that me back then would have hated, but for me right now is honestly something I wear like twice a week. Okay, so here is option one. We've got the nice, easy, breezy overalls. Not really shaping my figure at all, but who freaking cares? <laughs> They've got pockets, they're soft, they're comfy, and I just feel really good. I pulled a couple different options for things to layer under it. So we've got this little denim shirt, got this tie-dye shirt as an option too. I think this goes well with the black overalls. And then if I wanted to do the green overalls, I think this little striped button up looks really cute. I like the colors of this outfit more, but these overalls are just a little bit more fitted than the black ones. So I think, I, I think I'm gonna go with the first outfit with the button up and the black overalls. I think it's cute, it feels like me. But me from back then probably would have called that a major don't. So it's perfect. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. 
the best part about this outfit, I think, is that I don't even like think about it. Yeah. Like I'm not worried about a strap falling down or anything like looking out of place. It's just low maintenance. And, and so, cute. And cute. Really cute. <laughs> it's cute, it's easy, and I can just like enjoy our time at the farmer's market yeah. and not be like in my head about what anything looks like. The fact that this ever would have been a don't for me is just mind boggling. I'm just having fun at the farmer's market with Kenzie and not really stressing about anything else. So it's a big win in my book. Y'all, I just wanna thank you for being here, for watching this video, especially if you're still watching it now. It's been a pleasure, it's been a joy to share this journey with you guys and I wanna continue doing that. And like I said, it's, it's a journey that I'm very much still on. So I hope I look back at some of the stuff that I'm doing now and cringe five years from now because that means that I continue to grow and honestly that's just the best thing I can hope for. Thank you for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body and I'll see you next time. Bye!